Hi friends, welcome to our channel. If you love our videos, please subscribe and like the video. Today, we are reviewing the 2023 Disney fantasy musical movie, The Little Mermaid. Released on 26 May 2023. It is rated as PG in the US and is of length 2 hours and 15 minutes. This is a great movie and proves that the color of the skin doesn't matter in life or love. Disney once again creates magic with the graphics and music. The movie, however, has pacing issues as the first half of the movie is definitely slow compared to the second half. If you are not alert, it may make you fall asleep. The movie begins in C. When a few fishermen on the boat or seen hunting with spears for mermaids, a prince by name Eric tells them to stop looking for mermaids. When a big wave hits a boat, the prince drops his monocular. The camera follows the falling monocular and takes us into the deep sea with different but beautiful beings roaming around. Sea King Triton, in his coral moon meeting with his seven daughters, notices that her youngest and most defiant daughter, Ariel, is missing. He sends a crab by name Sebastian to look for her. Ariel, a spirited young mermaid, has a thirst for adventure and a life beyond the sea. Right there is a beautiful song where Ariel shares about the things that she dreams of, like having a feet. Walking around. What do you call them? Oh, feet. She hates the life of a mermaid and desperately wants the life of a human being. I'll be part of your she is seen visiting a deep sea area filled with sunken ships to collect interesting human objects, endangering herself as a shark is seen attacking her. She escapes from the shark and returns to her hideout, where she stores all her findings. She keeps all her collections in this secret place that is known only to her and her friends Flounder and Sebastian. Ariel is also friends with a dumb scuttle who helps in collecting human objects. King Triton meets with Ariel and warns her. He calls all humans as barbarians as they had killed his wife and orders Ariel to obey his rules and never to go to the surface again. He also orders Sebastian to follow Ariel night and day. Sebastian tries to put sense into Ariel about the human world, but Ariel ignores him. But that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you. Right here on the ocean floor. When Ariel sees bright lights above the sea, she surfaces to see what's happening up close. Ariel, don't! She sees the dashing Prince Eric and falls in love with him. In a storm, Prince Eric's boat gets damaged. Oh, I don't die! Ariel sees the Prince endangering his own life to save a dog. He orders everyone to abandon the ship. Ship. When the prince falls into the sea, Ariel saves the life of the young prince. She takes him ashore where she shrinks with a siren voice to help save his life. She leaves before the prince regains his consciousness. With the prince hearing Ariel's voice, he decides to go and search for her. The queen, however, asks him not to go chasing after girls who do not exist. King Triton, while inquiring Sebastian, gets to know about the secret hideout. The king, in anger, orders Ariel never to go to the above world. You broke the rules. You went to the 
above world. A man was drowning. I had to save him. This obsession with humans has to stop. I just want to know more about them. Ariel fights with her dad that just because the Prince Eric is human, he is not her enemy. It's a human? You're a mermaid. That doesn't make... When Ariel refuses to swear to never go to the surface again, Titan in anger destroys her collection of human objects. Ariel is then seen approached by two eels who take her to the sea, which Ursula, sister of King Triton, who wants to rule the sea world. This one long and That one wants to get the girl, and do I help him? Yes, indeed. She offers to help and suggests that Ariel becomes a human and experience a human life. She tells Ariel that her dream to experience a life for human is not possible without first becoming a human. I can help you. You can't live in that world unless you become a human yourself. Is that even possible? <laughs> it's what I live for. Desperation and anger, Ariel takes up the opportunity and makes a deal, even though the witch says that if she does not get a kiss from the prince in three days, she will become a slave to her. To become human, Ariel gives up her tail, the ability to breathe underwater, and her voice, which Ursula keeps in a shell. <laughs> Ariel accepts the deal and is given human legs. Ariel swims to the surface and is rescued by a fisherman who takes her to the island kingdom and to Eric's castle. Something about you seems different. I can't quite figure it out. She got legs, you idiot. This sea witch, however, makes her forget the deal, which is to get a true kiss from the prince. Eric, who has been frantically searching for the woman, who saved his life, rushes to meet Ariel when he hears of her arrival. Ariel is excited, but Eric is disappointed to note that Ariel is a mute. Ariel wanders around the castle and finds Eric's collection of items he had accumulated over his travels. Eric and Ariel spend time together discussing about his collection and getting to know each other. The next day, Eric takes Ariel sightseeing around the kingdom. Sebastian, along with Scuttle and Flounder, takes upon themselves to help Ariel get the kiss. When the prince and Ariel go on a boat trip, they almost kiss each other, but it gets thwarted by Ursula's eels. <laughs> Ursula, enraged by the close call, transforms herself into a beautiful young woman and using Ariel's voice stored in her shell, hypnotizes Eric. Scuttle, discovering Vanessa's true identity, informs Ariel. They all rush to the engagement party to stop it. When Ariel breaks the shell, her voice is restored and the enchantment on Eric is broken. But before they can kiss, the sun sets and Ariel transforms back into a mermaid. Ursula reverts to her original form and dives into the ocean, grabbing Ariel. When Ursula is confronted by Triton, he sacrifices himself willingly to save Ariel. The sea witch gets a powerful trident but by accident kills her eels. When Prince Eric comes to help Ariel, Ariel fights to kill Ursula. With the evil witch dead, King Titan comes back to life. On advice from Sebastian, the king transforms Ariel into a human permanently and she reunites with the prince. Ariel and the prince decide to travel the world together with the blessing of both their parents and support of the people from both their worlds. The movie ends with King Titan promising Ariel and Eric that the entire family will always be there for them. The movie is good, but compared to the expectations created, it does disappoint viewers. We however appreciate the movie team for the portrayal of the Black Beauty and its on-screen diversity. Do remember to enjoy the movie in theatres. To continue enjoying our videos, please subscribe to our channel. We will see you in our next video. Until then, bye-bye.